Good evening, I'm Michael Inglis. And I'm Amanda Lojeski. So after a long week of studying, are you in need for a Friday night movie? Well tomorrow, Pride Activities Council is holding a movie night at 7 p.m. in Freedom Hall 122. Come out and enjoy free snacks, popcorn, and a good film. The Black Student Union will be holding a free trap karaoke event tomorrow, Friday, February 16th in Latham Hall, starting at 7 p.m. If you want to see your peers performing some of the latest songs, make sure you come out. Author, television host, and European travel guide Rick Stees will be speaking on campus Monday, February 26th at 1 p.m. in the web room. He will talk for about an hour and will open the floor to any questions you may have. If you wish to attend this event, make sure you RSVP with Candy Corporal in Old Main. Well, we sure do live in the city of brotherly love. While the Eagles helped spread love throughout the city of Philadelphia just one week ago, the iconic love sculpture can now do the same. The sculpture was removed for a year-long renovation, but was brought back yesterday. The city hosted a parade to celebrate the sculpture's return just in time for those Valentine's pictures yesterday. I had a great time at the parade. when I, I did too. The city was electric. You could feel it in the air. Let's see if our pride are spreading victories across the board as well. Ben? Thanks, Mike. The Winer men's basketball team defeated Hood 104-80 on Sunday, bringing their MAC record to 6-8 and an overall record to 13-10. The Pride were led by, ju by junior Tyler Drews, who dropped 40 points, including 10 of 12 from three-point range. Drews' performance helped him earn Matt Commonwealth Player of the Week honors. Men's basketball also played this past Tuesday in a winning effort against Arcadia. Sardai Sambo had 12 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 blocks, much of, most of which came in the first half. The Pride's next game will be this Saturday when they take on Alvernia at 3 p.m. If the Pride win, they will advance to the Matt Commonwealth Playoffs. Senior Will McDermott was named Mac Men's Track Athlete of the Week, running the 5,000 meters in 14 minutes, 20.98 seconds at the Boston University Valentine Invitational. He placed 12th overall in an event featuring primarily Division I competitors. His time is now second best in Widener history. Junior Allison Reuter won the weight throw event at this past weekend's NYU Armory Invitational in New York with a distance of 15.21 meters. Her throw is the best in the Division III Mideast region this season. Both men's and women's track squads are back in action this weekend at the Keogh Invitational at Haverford College. Widener men's volleyball played their first ever home match this past Saturday against Alvernia. The Pride lost 3 0, but there were some highlights. Freshman Will Cacciatore had 8 kills, and fellow freshman AJ Singenis had 8 kills and 2 blocks. The Pride continued to search their, for their first ever win at the Stevenson Tri Match this Saturday. While hazing is a very serious issue at some schools, Phi Sigma Sigma will be hosting an anti-hazing workshop to talk about how we practice safe Greek life, how to prevent it, and much more. It will begin at 5 p.m. on Monday, February 19th, Room C, located in the UC. I, too, will be hosting that workshop, as I always do. Uh, do you enjoy crafts? Pack, uh, sorry, Pride Activities Council and CPC will be providing crafter hours at 6 p.m. on February 20th in the UC atrium. Get crafting, folks. Feeling a little down or want to keep your positivity shining? Active Minds will be hosting Staying Positive event on Tuesday at 7 p.m. located in Room A. You know, this weather sure has me feeling pretty down and cold. I agree. Maybe Danielle will brighten our day by updating us with some positive weather. Danielle? Well, I do have some good news on this forecast, but starting with tonight, you, we will have a 100% a chance of rain. Now, this rain is going to carry on into Friday where we have another 60 degree day. Now, that rain is going to start to clear out in the afternoon, but those clouds are going to keep lingering on throughout the day. Moving on to Saturday, temperatures are going to severely drop down to your mid 30s and we will be having a wintry mix here. So because of the warmer weathers, that snow is not going to stick. The roads are not going to freeze over. Just be cautious when you're driving on those wet, ro wet roads. Moving on to Sunday, temperatures are going to start to rise back up to your 50 degree weather and there will be sunshine there. Moving on to Monday, temperatures are going to keep picking up. And in the afternoon and evening, you will see some p.m. showers. Moving on to Tuesday and Wednesday, those unseasonable highs are going to continue to rise. So basically a recap of your week, you're going to have mild weather dropping down for that wintry mix and then coming right back up. It's not usual for this time of year for it to be this warm. So if you packed away your t-shirts, make sure you take those back out, but save a sweater for Saturday. Thanks, Danielle. In more serious news, half a dozen climbers were stranded by tumbling rocks and falling ice on Oregon's Tall's Peak, Mount Hood, on Tuesday. One climber fell about 1,000 feet. The other climbers did attempt CPR, but unfortunately, they could not save him. 
Thankfully, the other climbers were rescued around 4 p.m. with one suffering from a non-life-threatening injury. Authorities still have not released the fallen climber's identity. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family. Wyatt Peck, 26, started to go up the mountain on Tuesday morning, but turned around because of the unsafe conditions. Peck said the mountain's always going to be there and your life is not worth it. Award-winning composer Johan Johansson had died on Friday at age 48 due to unknown causes. Johansson was described as an inspiration to his co-workers and truly was a visionary when it came to composing film scores. The Oscar-nominated composer had helped score movies such as Sicario and The Theory of Everything, and he will undoubtedly be missed in the world of film. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Make sure you check out our social media pages for more information. See you next time.